Honda is making a serious push into the U.S. electric vehicle market with the introduction of a new EV. Unlike previous limited-run models such as the Fit EV and Clarity Electric, which were primarily sold on the West Coast, Honda aims to offer a volume EV with broader appeal and widespread availability. Since Honda's proprietary EV technology won't be ready until 2026, the company partnered with General Motors to develop the 2024 Prologue. This new model shares its platform, battery, and other components with GM's Chevy Blazer EV, an electric midsize SUV. Honda's challenge was to ensure the Prologue embodied the brand's distinctive style and feel. In terms of design, the Prologue achieves this goal. Its sleek and simple front end features a friendly-looking face with a blocked-off grille and subtle headlights. The vehicle's clean lines and new Honda script on the rear provide a clear visual differentiation from the Blazer EV, making the Prologue a fitting addition to a Honda showroom alongside models like the two-row Passport and three-row Pilot. Size-wise, it fits between these two, though it has a notably lower roofline. Inside, the Prologue's Honda characteristics are less pronounced. Honda has made some modifications to the dashboard for improved sight lines and a lower cowl, enhancing the driving experience. However, many controls and switches are still sourced from GM. While this isn't necessarily a drawback, and the materials used are suitable for the vehicle's price point, loyal Honda customers might find the unfamiliar layout of frequently used controls disconcerting, especially if they're transitioning from models like the CRV to their first electric vehicle. The windshield wipers on the Prologue are operated by the stock to the left of the steering wheel, unlike the right-side stock typical of Hondas, and the headlights are controlled through a menu within the touchscreen. The 11.3-inch central screen also features a somewhat complex arrangement of apps that may take some time to master, which is not very characteristic of Honda. However, the Prologue does offer Android Auto and Apple CarPlay functions, unlike the Blazer EV. How it drives Engineers focused heavily on tuning the suspension to ensure the Prologue drives like a Honda. The Prologue is quiet, stable, and comfortable on the road, qualities that are positive but not uniquely Honda. At 5,268 pounds, this electric crossover won't have the same tactile feel as a Civic C, nor would its buyers expect it to, but we hoped for more engagement and feedback from the steering, which felt numb. Nonetheless, when driven back-to-back -back with the Blazer, we preferred the Prologue's slightly softer tuning, which felt more coherent than the Chevy's sharper responses. We tested the 288-horsepower dual-motor Elite model, which offers all-wheel drive and smooth power delivery, but it lacks the forceful acceleration that pushes you back in your seat. The Prologue's acceleration doesn't match that of the dual-motor Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6, which both reach 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds and deliver a thrilling ride. The Prologue is more responsive than AV, 6, Powered Passport or Pilot, but not by much. It reached 60 miles per hour in 5.9 seconds, matching the last Passport we tested. We expect the front-wheel drive single-motor Prologue, with just 212 horsepower, to feel sluggish in comparison. You can choose from multiple levels of regenerative braking, including a one-pedal driving mode. GM's convenient steering wheel-mounted Regan paddle is also available, allowing for maximum regenerative braking on demand. Charging and range The Prologue is equipped with an 85.0 kWh Ultium battery from GM, located beneath the floor. This setup offers competitive EPA range estimates of 273 to 296 miles, depending on the configuration and trim level. In our tests, the Elite model, rated for 273 miles, achieved a 240-mile highway range, competitive, though not exceptional. The Prologue's maximum DC fast charging capability is 150 kilowatts, and during our 10 to 90% charge test, we saw a peak of 158 kilowatts. The Prologue averaged 97 kilowatts and added 100 miles of real-world highway range in 17 minutes. For comparison, an Ionic 5 we tested peaked at 235 kilowatts and averaged 152 kilowatts, adding 100 miles in just 13 minutes. Honda offers a valuable charging package, allowing customers to select from various bundles of credits for use at EVGO and Electrify America stations, as well as for home charging installations. This makes transitioning to an EV easier for first-time buyers. Additionally, the Prologue is eligible for the $7,500 federal tax credit, 
potentially easing the financial burden of its $48,795 to nearly $60,000 price range. The dual motor touring version, potentially just under $50,000 with the tax credit, appears to offer the best value in the lineup. The Prologue excels in many areas for a mainstream EV, particularly for brand agnostic shoppers. It boasts competitive range and charging capabilities, along with a refined driving experience featuring EV-specific benefits like one-pedal driving and a quiet cabin. However, we question if it will satisfy dedicated Honda fans. Despite its exterior resembling a typical Honda SUV, its complicated interior controls and lack of driving excitement may disappoint those loyal to the brand. For those who prioritize Honda's traditional strengths, it might be worth waiting for the next generation of true Honda-built EVs. 2024 Honda Prologue, a solid EV option, but lacks thrills. Honda enters the electric vehicle, EV, fray with the 2024 Prologue, a mid-size SUV co-developed with General Motors. While the Prologue delivers in core areas like range and practicality, it doesn't quite capture the excitement some expect from a Honda. Hits the marks on range and charging. The Prologue comes standard with an 85 kWh battery pack, offering a very competitive estimated range of 296 miles for the front-wheel drive version. All-wheel drive models sacrifice a bit of range for a dual-motor setup, but you'll still get a respectable estimated 273 miles. The Prologue can also fast charge at up to 150 kilowatts, adding 65 miles of range in just 10 minutes. Interior is spacious and functional. Inside, the Prologue prioritizes space and usability. There's ample head and legroom for passengers in both rows, and cargo capacity is generous. Honda retains some physical buttons and knobs for essential functions, a welcome respite from the all-touchscreen interfaces found in many EVs. Material quality is good, but the design feels a bit on the bland side. Solid performance, not standout. The Prologue delivers a smooth and comfortable ride, but it won't win any awards for driving excitement. Acceleration is adequate, especially in the all-wheel drive model, but not thrilling. Handling is competent, but predictable. The verdict, a safe choice, but not a showstopper. The 2024 Honda Prologue is a solid first effort from Honda in the EV space. It offers good range, a spacious interior, and a comfortable ride. However, it lacks the engaging driving dynamics and distinctive styling that some might expect from a Honda. If you prioritize practicality and reliability in an EV, the Prologue is a strong contender. But if you're looking for a more exciting electric driving experience, you might want to consider other options.